Hello students, welcome back. In this video, we are going to study about monophasic liquid dosage form. So before we start with our today's video, I like to request one and all to please subscribe my YouTube channel. Then let's talk about what is monophasic liquid dosage form. So monophasic liquid dosage form refers to liquid preparation containing two or more components in one phase system. It is represented by true solution. Then a true solution is a clear homogeneous mixture that is prepared by dissolving solute in a suitable solvent. You are aware that a solute is the component that get dissolved and the solvent is the medium in which solute dissolves and finally giving a one phase system that is there is no any separation between both the components. So this is nothing but our monophasic liquid dosage form. Then advantages of monophasic liquid dosage form first one it is easier to swallow therefore easier for children and old age patients they can swallow monophasic liquid dosage form or liquid dosage form as such easily then facilitate absorption of drug faster than solid uh, dosage form as drug is already in solution form you are aware that once if a person is given a solid dosage form then that solid dosage form after getting into the stomach it has to get disintegrated and then dissolution and absorption takes place however being in liquid state here uh, it is readily absorbable or it gets readily available then the next one is it is homogeneous therefore gives uniform dosage then suspension or emulsion which needs shaking so you know as uh, after storing of suspension or emulsion there can be or they need to be shaked before they are used however in monophasic liquid dosage form there is uh, I mean this dosage form are comparatively more uniform then coming to next one that is it is simplest and uh, it is simple and fast to formulate then it can be administered by various routes like that of oral parenteral then uh, enema for rectal use then otic that is with the ear nasal or ophthalmic preparations then there are also some disadvantages like that of first one it needs a lot of special storage conditions then uh, they are bulky so difficult to transport and store also affected by microorganisms due to presence of sweetening and flavoring agent you know our liquid dosage form they consist of uh, sweetening agent flavoring agent and even sometimes vehicle if it is aqueous then it needs a preservative as they can be easily affected by a microorganism then less stable as compared to solid dosage form then uh, the problem of container breakage so again this is one of the problem which can occur during the transportation and storage then further drug uh, stability reduced by hydrolysis or oxidation so they have shorter expiry date than solid dosage form and also uh, they are required to be stored in a proper condition like that of uh, store away from sunlight or store in a, a cool and dark place right then coming to next one that is classification so here is the classification of monophasic liquid dosage form you can see here liquids meant for internal administration which includes syrup mixtures elig uh, elixirs and linctuses then liquid application to the skin which includes lotion, liniments, then uh, collodions and paints, then uh, liquid used in mouth like that of uh, gargles, then mouthwashes and throat pens, and liquid instilled into body cavities, example doubts, ear drops, nasal drops, eye drop and so, enemas. So all this that is liquid applied to be skin, then liquid to be used in mouth and liquid instilled into body cavities, this all are liquids meant for external application or external administration so now this is liquid meant for external administration so syrup syrups are aqueous preparation containing of around 60 to 85 percent of sucrose which uh, with or without flavoring agent and med uh, or and medinal substance uh, basically a syrup is a concentrated or nearly saturated aqueous solution here you can see an uh, example of syrup that is used to relieve cough. Then the coming to next one, 
that is mixture so pharmaceutical mixtures are liquid preparation consisting of one or more medica uh, medicaments dissolved suspended or diffused in an aqueous vehicle they are usually fresh or uh, recently prepared and are used uh, fairly uh, quickly within a month or short uh, term uh, rapidly for the purpose to relieve from cough uh, diarrhea and constipation etc then the next one that is again liquid for uh, internal administration is elixir so elixirs are clear flavored sweetened hydroalcoholic liquid uh, oral preparations that usually uh, contain either potent uh, potent or unpleasant tasting drugs they may be medicated or non medicated then the next one that is uh, linctuses so linctuses are viscous oral uh, liquid containing one or more medicament dissolved in a vehicle that usually contains high proportion of sucrose or other sugars they are chiefly used as demulcents or expectorant or sedatives principally in the treatment or relief of cough as such liniments are intended to be uh, slipped slowly in small dose and allow to uh, trickle down the throat uh, in undiluted form they give maximum and prolonged effect of medicament in the throat then coming to next one that is for a monophasic liquid dosage form for external uses they are again categorized into three parts applied on skin then liquid to be used in mouth and liquid which are to be instilled into the body cavity the first one that is liquids which are to be applied on skin so in that the first what we have is lotion so lotions are solution but may also be suspension or emulsion intended for external application to the skin then here it is applied with uh, without friction to the skin and after application it uh, dries forming a thin film of medicament over the affected area after application of the lotion the skin should be covered with suitable dressing or waterproof material to reduce evaporation then coming to next one that is linea uh, liniments so liniments are again liquid preparation intended to be rubbed with friction and and massaged onto unbroken skin to obtain analgesic rubefacient or generally stimulant effect remember liniments are not to be applied on broken skin they are dispensed in colored fluted bottles with label shake well before use or shake the bottle before use then uh, they are usually solutions of oil alcohol or soap but may be formulated as emulsions then coming to next one that is colloidons so they are principally a solution of uh, pyroxylene in a vehicle of ether or alcohol that are intended to be uh, painted onto the skin using a brush or rod and left to dry when dry the colloidons leave a protective film covering the site furthermore colloidons are highly volatile and highly flammable and care should be taken to label and prepare uh, appropriately also it need to be stored uh, very cautiously that is it is away from any sort of flammable substance then coming to next one that is paints so paint solution are sterile uh, are used to sterilize the skin they are non toxic usually non allergic and can easily be washed away example butadiene antiseptic paint and magenta paints then coming to next one that is liquid which are to be used in the mouth the first one are gargles so gargles are aqueous solution containing antiseptic antibiotic and or anti sorry anesthetic that are intended for prevention or treatment of throat infection they are generally formulated in a concentrated form and are usually to be diluted with water prior to its use gargle should not be uh, swallowed but should be thrown out after rinsing the oral cavity example uh, we have uh, 
phenol uh, gargles then we have potassium chloride and uh, phenol gargles potassium permanganate gargles etc then coming to next one that is mouthwashes so so mouthwashes are aqueous solutions with pleasant taste and odor intended for local treatment of the membranous lining of the mouth and gums they generally contain antibacterial agent alcohol glycerin sweetening agent flavoring agent and coloring agent then coming to next one that is throat paint so here we have the example that is mendel's paint so throat paints are viscous liquid preparation that are applied uh, with the help of brush to the mucus or mucosa of the mouth or throat then glycerin is commonly used as a base in throat paint because it possesses a sweet taste and it adheres to mucous membrane for a longer time then coming to next one that are liquid to be instilled into the body cavity the first one what we have is doubts are the liquid preparation used to cleanse then deodorize smooth or medicate a wound body orifice or cavities then the next what we have is this is example then the next one what we have is a uh, ear drop so these are medicated solution of drug that are instilled into the ear with the help of dropper these are generally used for cleansing the ear softening the wax and for treating the mild infections remember these drugs are dissolved or suspended in the vehicle such as water uh, dilute alcohol glycerin or propylene glycol and administered onto the ear with the help of dropper 3 to 4 drops of the preparation are instilled in the affected ear generally used for cleansing softening as well as removing of wax and mild infection and the container should be labeled as for external use only then coming to next one that is nasal drop so nasal drops are preparation of uh, just like ear drop so again these are the solutions of drug that are instilled into the nostrils with the help of dropper then nasal sprays are also available these sprays are uh, same prepared as that of nasal drop but uh, instilled into the nasal in the form of spray both formulation intends to for administration into the nasal cavity to obtain the systemic or local effect then here you can see a example of uh, nasal drop then the next one is i drop i drops are sterile preparations or suspension of uh, uh, drugs that are to be instilled into the eye with dropper the i drops are usually made in aqueous vehicle and it should be isotonic with lacrimal secretion buffered and free from foreign particles to avoid irritation to eye then we also have i lotions so i lotions are sterile aqueous solution used for washing the eye they are uh, supplied in concentrated form and are required to be diluted with warm water immediately before use eye lotions are generally used to remove foreign substances from the eye okay so eye lotions and lotions are completely different eye lotions are very aqueous they are to be diluted and are used for rinsing or washing our eyes in order to get free from any sort of foreign particle okay then next one what we have is enemas so these are aqueous or oily solution or suspension meant for rectal administration many drugs are administered rectally for localized or uh, what we can call it as systemic action as they have undesirable effect if taken orally therefore they are administered rectally and the required therapeutic level can be obtained within 30 minutes immediately after rectal administration uh, therefore corticosteroids like drugs are also given by this route due to git problem rectal enemas are used for evacuating the bowel and for purgative sedative and uh, nutritive and anti inflammatory effect they uh, may also be used for extra examination of the lower bowel therefore they can be used for therapeutic purpose it has been mentioned here then enemas are usually given at body temp uh, body temperature in quantities of 500 to 1000 ml and are available 
commercially in a disposable plastic squeeze bottle as you can see in the image. So that's all in this video we have seen regarding monophasic liquid dosage form, definition, advantages, disadvantages and uh, their classification and then we have seen the examples in detail. Thank you very much.